Hi guys, it's Gina. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I hope you guys uh, stay tuned for today's topic. Uh, today's topic is really about uh, ideas, about coming up with good ideas. Now you guys probably know me as the guy who knows programming, the guy who knows how to write, or maybe uh, illustrator or a branding person. But one of my main strengths, I would say, is coming up with good ideas and long-term ideas. Now... I'm going to share with you guys some of my experiences or a talk that I had, uh, some of my experiences in the startup scene in, in uh, coming up with ideas for hackathons. I would like to encourage everyone who was watching this video, especially students, especially those in high school and college, to just take a shot at it and try it lang. Even if you know that all of the opponents are going to be from better schools, even if you know that those who you're joining with uh, you don't necessarily have a chance with, try lang. I mean, that's how we all start. Walang mawawala sa inyo. Kung matalo manalo, walang mawawala sa inyo. And I've probably failed more than I've won. A uh, good quote really is, uh, the, the master has failed more times than the student has ever tried. So, a lot of us, a lot of us uh, students are very intimidated when it comes to joining hackathons because we think we're underqualified. We don't know how to begin. But in truth, it couldn't be farther from the truth. Uh, we're all in the same page. Aluna, if you're joining hackathons that are geared towards students, we're really mostly on the same page. Uh, even if you see that they have more technical abilities, ako, I, I uh, differentiated myself in coming up with good ideas. And I'm here to share with you guys how to come up with these good ideas. So without further ado, uh, here's my talk in the Meralco Young Engineers and Scientists Summit uh, to share with you guys on how to come up with a good idea. Play. Um, hello, everyone. Good day to all of you. Um, now, I just want to start off by saying the average human attention span is about eight seconds long. Uh, that's a little bit shorter than a goldfish, which has a nine-second attention span. My talk will last for approximately 10 minutes and or maybe around 600 seconds. So I hope na kaya nyong, you know, to go through this entire presentation with me. So he hello again, everyone. I am Gina Araulio. I'm currently a second-year BSMS IT student in Mapua University. Um, currently, my uh, accomplishments actually include I was uh, I led a team that became the global nominee that represented the Philippines in the NASA Space Ops Challenge, sponsored by the U.S. Department of State. Uh, 2019, I was head of the of branding at Don Bosco Mandaluyong for about a year, and I also led a team to win at the Asia Pacific Youth Exchange. It's an international youth exchange program under the Asian Development Bank. In 2020, I also led a team called Move Mapua that was crowned as the grand champion in the Accenture program, the Future Hackathon. Now, I would characterize myself as a very spontaneous adventurer, and I love trying out new things, and I'm not afraid to try. I would actually attribute my winnings to being able to find what I call a niche in things. So, sino nga ba ako? So, sobrang baka parang iniisip nga, baka sobrang talino ko, or baka sobrang kakonex ko, um, baka, alam mo yun, parang ang taas ng, ano, ng position ko. Pero th that's not true at, at all. Uh, I'm not good at a lot of things. I was never the smartest person. I was actually quite in the middle of my class in high school. I was never really the most sociable either. Nor did I have the best time management. I'm sure Mom Vivian can, can attest to that. Um, but... I did have certain things that I think that I would say that I was good at. So, I had a passion for design and technology at a young age. Uh, I was actually in the eighth grade. Naging VP ako ng computer club namin. And during the eighth grade, uh, share ko lang yung ano ginawa na gumawa kami ng parang Minecraft sort of uh, server na ayon parang bago pa siya na uso. Recently na uso ulit to eh, na parang gumagawa ng replica ng schools. And wala lang at the eighth grade gumawa kami ng version nun for our school. Um, this is where both design and technology meet. Uh, I was also very, very fascinated, fascinated with good presentations such as those of Steve Jobs. And I also used to blog and write a lot. So even at a young age, uh, at age 13, lahat to, mga ganito karami talaga nagsusulat na ako back then. So I had these aspects going for me. And despite not being good at these, I was still good at certain aspects in life. So, 
Now, let's relate that to my topic. I want to teach you guys a uh, sort of parang yun idea how to win a hackathon or ideathon. And if not, at least how to strategize one and at least how to, you know, learn how to come up with a good idea. Now, in order to come up with a good idea, you, you also need to be able to find your niche, as what I mentioned. So you need to have, you need to know what you're good at. And if not, if you don't know what you're good at, at least know or find something that everyone else isn't good at or parang, um, you know, not their specialty. Another thing that I'd also like to impart is that you shouldn't be afraid to speak out your mind. Uh, yun yung isang pagkakamali or pagkukulang natin as students is that what we think, we get easily intimidated by people higher than us or people older than us. We're afraid to think that something's possible and we're afraid to think outside the box as to what is already told uh, to us in school. Uh, students like you and me need to think beyond the school because school is only about, say, what, 16 years of your life? So don't limit yourself by what you think you can or cannot do just by, you know, because of school. Um, so ito na talaga. Ito na talaga yung parang pinaka-formula ko for being able to come up with a good idea for a hackathon or for some other ideathon. Uh, my formula for success is, number one, is you need to be able to come up with a good presentation. Just to share with you, yung experience ko sa NASA Space Apps Challenge, which was sponsored by Inga. Um, it was really mostly focused on the presentation. The solution, in essence, when we came up with it, was really, really good, actually. It was uh, coming up with Disaster Res Resilience app. And marami nang nakagawa nun. But ours was focused on, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was really um, connecting people to one another during a calamity, during networks are down. But we found out that it was very hard to implement. So what we did was we really focused on presentation. We made it look as good as possible because there are certain hackathons, there are certain situations that you can make something look good and that would be okay. So, ano lang, share ko lang, yun yung mga nag experience ko. So, uh, as designers, we need to focus on good UX, good UI, good interactions when it comes to coming up with good design. Uh, so, yun yung parang nag experience namin sa NASA Space Apps Philippines. And later on, of course, we were nominated for the Global Prize. Um, so that's presentation. The second is you need to be able to think outside of the box. So this one, uh, this was the most recent hackathon that uh, I attended or that I participated in, the Accenture program, the Future Hackathon. It was, we were given six weeks to come up with a post-COVID world solution that would help the lives of Filipinos. And we were actually kind of sure that everyone was going to focus on software because it was called Program the Future. Uh, everyone was going to focus on software. And it was at home. It was like the first, uh, or, or if not, parang one of the first hackathons that happened at home. And everyone was at home. So we thought that everyone's going to focus on hardware. So we thought, na, why not focus on hardware? And we also thought that, Let's go grassroots. We need to look at what was happening at the time. Yung look at our surroundings. Back then, usong uso yung jeepney uh, modernization and the problems with uh, sorry, the jeepney problem when it comes to yung passengers, yung parang bawal during ECQ and uh, MECQ. So kulang na kulang yung income ng jeepney drivers, and we thought now we could come up with a solution to complement that problem. And so we made an app, but we also came up with hardware, a hardware meet software advertising platform for buses and jeeps all over the metro to give them additional income. So it's a proof of concept. Uh, we had a very rudimentary prototype and it's something that we came up with in about six weeks. Uh, what also made our idea different is that we thought of stakeholders. We thought about what made our idea different. Gumuwa kami ng mga financial models and we thought na will our idea be sustainable in the long run? When you think about an idea, don't just think of an idea for the sake of thinking of an idea. Think of it na, is it going to be a business? Will it be able to sustain itself? Will it be able to work in the long run? So this was something that I think that the other groups weren't able to address and that we were able to think about that talagang our idea was more or less foolproof and could run in the long run. So that's thinking outside of the box. Think of what people will commonly think and trying to go beyond that. So now the last, actually, this is the last step is really to think about the people that you'll affect. This is uh, one of parang, the most uh, core things in my heart. Na, 
you shouldn't think of an idea for the sake of thinking of an idea. You should think about the people whom it will affect. So this was an uh, this was what I experienced in the Asia Pacific Youth Exchange. So it's actually a 10-day youth exchange program that was hosted in Cebu. And it mainly focused on the UN SDG, Sustainable Development Goals. And what happened was, you know, we went actually door to door. We went to houses and we, we, we went to the community and we immersed with them. The idea of this uh, idea thon is actually being able to help the community. Now, there were some uh, there were some problems with the community, but one of the main things was uh, they were lifted out of poverty. Parang recently yung province na to, they were uh, sobrang biglang nagboom yung tourism industry. But there was some sort of uh, controversial thing that the boom in the tourism industry was also not good for the environment. So we had to look at a different approach. We were told that the people were hesitant with you know, coming up with a solution to quote-unquote help the tourism industry uh, in an environmental standpoint. So we focused on another problem, which was water. So sa kanila kasi, ang problem kasi sa Oslo was that there was a lack of water supply. Talagang huge lack of water supply. And so our idea really focused around trying to find out on how to make water uh, more efficient or parang lalo na sa mga resorts. Um, how could we save thousands of liters of water na instead of being able uh, instead of being used by resorts na sobrang sayang sobrang waste wasteful sa water uh, water that could actually you know uh, be used by the residents instead of the tourism industry so it was actually a very simple idea which was to retrofit the existing uh, tap uh, the existing faucets of the community with uh, tap push taps so that's essentially you know, I know that's essentially one of the most important things is you really have to think of the people whom you'll affect when coming up with a solution when com coming up with an idea don't just think of it for the sake of coming up with an idea but think of the people whom you'll affect now of course it wouldn't be a, a hackathon i've also had my fair share of failures this one this photo that you're seeing right now is actually one of the first that i've attended uh, it was a robo robo logic competition, parang uh, robotics competition that happened with uh, Philippine Science High School. Parang yun yung mga naging kompeti competition namin. And it was, a, <laughs> it was a big failure to say the least. Pero we learned from it. And we had an amazing time with it. And parang, you know, we got to uh, understand more. And also, this is another thing. We, we pitched an, a solution to home credit uh, company. Uh, a lending company and then you know it didn't work out but at the end of the day you really you learned you learned a lot so my takeaway from all of this and my message to you guys is for you to really be able to find your niche and for you to not be afraid to try don't be afraid to try things and don't be afraid if you fail that's the main point that i'm trying to uh, portray because as google says it uh moonshots Moonshots is basically being able to uh, come up with an idea sobrang ambitious. But if you fall short of that, that idea, you still win by uh, or you still learn a lot. So I just want to end with my final, uh, this final quote. Fail fast, learn faster. I hope you guys uh, learned from my uh, presentation and I hope that you guys would be inspired to be able to uh, try out new things and to be able to... Um, maybe even participate in hackathons in the future. So thank you very much. Uh, I'm Gina Aralio. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in to, uh, to Gina Media and to Day One Media. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to both channels, to Day One Media and Gina Media. And uh, I hope you learned something. I hope that you can share your thoughts with me. And see you guys in the next video. Now, what is that you might ask? It's painting your own graphics card, in our case, a GTX 1060 OC edition. We'll try to see if it has any semblance of working or if the water is leaking. 